To get pests in the most efficient way, you need to have a high amount of bonus pest chance. But how do we do that? In this video, I will be covering how to get the maximum possible pest chance, the setup required, and how much you can actually make from it. Before all that, I recommend also having Sky Honey installed, which has a lot of quality of life features such as time since pests spawned, which will be useful as you will see soon. Whilst Sky Honey isn't needed, it is highly recommended, so I'll link the download to it in the description below. In order to obtain maximum bonus pest chance, you will need the following. Full Pest Dominator 5 armor with a Night Saver down in order to proc the full set bonus. All you have to do is apply Pest Dominator 5 and you should be ready to go. You'll know the Night Bonus is working if you see the bonus pest chance being 30%. Next, we have the Pest Hunter Artifact. This can be obtained from Philip, our local pest hunter, for 100,000 coins and 250 pests exchanged. The third item on our list is the Wriggling Lava. You can either drop it from a 1 in 200 chance from the Moth Pest, or you can just buy it from the Bazaar. You'll need 5 for a total of 10 added bonus pest chance. Next will be the Pest Vest. This not only gives 10 bonus pest chance, but also decreases the cooldown between pests spawn by 20%. This can be bought either from the auction house, or during Finnegan, you can buy it from Talbot, who is located next to Trevor the Trapper. Next we have the Stinky Cheese Potion, which can also be bought from Talbot during Finnegan for just 40 pelts. Alternatively, you can just buy it from the auction house. This gives 20 bonus pest chance, and its time can be boosted by using a parrot pet when consuming it. Then we have the Spray Nature, which not only gives 50 bonus pest chance, but also halves the cooldown between pest spawns, which results in a 2 minute cooldown between pests when paired with the pest vest. Lastly, you're going to want a T-Rex pet at level 100 with a brown bandana pet item for an extra 60 bonus pest chance. This is increased by another 60 when using a Daedalus Axe to farm. This is further increased by 60 when using Chimera 5 on the Daedalus Axe. This makes for 450 total bonus pest chance, giving you 5 pests per spawn with a 50% chance of a 6th to spawn 2. As this may be quite expensive, be aware that you can still pest farm without Chimera 5. It may just be that you make a little less money per hour. So, in order to actually farm this, you will need a sugarcane farm. I've linked one in the description below, and once you're down there, you may as well leave a like and subscribe, seeing as you're already there. The reason you'll need a sugarcane farm is because you are technically breaking two blocks at a time, which means pest spawn chance is doubled. The same is true with cactus, but it is a little less efficient. You will need your Daedalus Axe as your main item to destroy the sugarcane, with an item to teleport such as the aspect of the end or the aspect of the void in order to get to the pests quicker. You will also need two max vacuums, one reforged with BD and one reforged with buzzing. BD gives plus three crops, which is very good for flies, which give significantly more valuable drops than any other pest. Buzzing, on the other hand, you will just use to one shot every other pest that isn't a fly in order to save time. You will then want to set your chirping stereo to the pretty pest vinyl in order to make flies the most likely to spawn, as they are the true money makers of this method. You're going to want two setups, one being the mushroom armor mentioned earlier, and configuring your speed with tuning points to get 328 speed with the T-Rex pet, but you will also want another setup, a regular farming setup such as pimento armor with the ranch's boots set to 328 speed and a mushroom cow pet. You then want to spray the plots in which you are farming in with dung using the spray nator. You'll have to reinstate this every single time it ends in order to keep the maximum amount of bonus pest chance. Once the pests have spawned, you will want to swap the armor set to your regular farming setup in order to gain all your farming fortune back, and then you want to vacuum up the pests with the vacuum accordingly. BD if flies, and buzzing if it's anything else. A way to make this better is to set up auto pet rules, which means when you swap to your regular farming setup, it will equip your mushroom cow pet, and then it will automatically swap to the T-Rex once you equip your mushroom armor wardrobe slot. Once you have cleared all the pests, you will not want to immediately swap back to the mushroom armor setup. As pests have a set 2 minute cooldown between pest spawns, you can then go back to farming sugarcane with your farming setup and mushroom cow for around a minute and 55 seconds before swapping back to the mushroom armor wardrobe slot, which will also 
automatically equip the T-Rex, and then just repeat this whole process. Luckily, Skyhand is a feature which tells you how long it has been since the last pest has spawned, which means that you can just look at that to see how long it has been and when you need to swap back to your mushroom armor. Further, to make the process of changing wardrobe sets quicker, it is recommended to set up a hotkey you can press on your keyboard which will automatically run the slash wardrobe command. This can be done through Skytillus. Another cool thing about this method is that it actually doubles as a decent visitor hunting method due to the newish update from the admins which made it so vacuuming pests decreases the wait time between visitors by 30 seconds per pest. If you're still unsure about all this, I have linked below some links which will basically just put what I've said into words. And here is some advice from the number one pest farmer. And there you have it. You can now start pest farming as efficiently as possible. I hope this guide has helped you, and I wish you all the best on your pest hunting journeys.